welcome to Hack 5. My name is Shannon Morris, and I am joined by Woody yet again. How you doing? Everybody knows you by now, though, because like you're super famous with your Ford <laughs> hacks. Super fun. So uh, I'm here at DEF CON 27. Woody here was giving a talk about the Ford hacks, and you just happened upon some very interesting updates right before you gave a talk. Was it over in the car hacking village? Uh, some of the stuff I found in the car hacking village, the other was prepping for my talk at the wireless village. Got it, okay. And uh, I went over, they had a 2012 mock-up that they were going through, and I hadn't had a chance to go against the 2012. I've yeah. only been able to go back about three years. Yeah. So we ran the sequence, and I could do a denial of service, and I could do the replace. Yay. Okay, so this is very interesting to me because I have an older Ford vehicle. So what, what made you decide that you wanted to run it against this older 2012 model? Well, having seen it work against the new stuff, I was like, well, I wonder if this is a new policy, a new protocol, or yeah. how far back does this go? Yeah. And then I realized, apparently all at least to 2012, so I'm not sure That's how not long good. they've had it. <laughs> Yay, goody. Okay, so I'm pretty excited to hear about this. Last time we talked to you, uh, we learned about the replay attacks. We learned that you can basically just de-off the key fob, unlock the vehicle as long as you're within that vicinity. Uh, and kind of brick the fob for in some some cases. Yeah. I, I like to call it just a denial of service. Yeah. Um, I, I want to note. Can reset it. Absolutely. Uh, I want to note that I do not do any jamming to do this. Right. Uh, a lot of people afterwards, and a lot, a lot of, of comments did comment thought it was jamming. jamming. Yeah, yeah. We don't do any jamming, and I never okay. recommend jamming. Yeah, of course. So this actually resets the car's rolling code count, mm -hmm. so any code you have is valid again. So can you walk me through the process from last time we talked to you on the show? Absolutely, and, and I can add a little bit more now. Yay. So, uh, dial service is as simple as if I catch a Ford wireless remote yeah. and I replay it, yeah. Ford will now um, deauthorize that key fob from working. Really? Yes. Is that new? That Well, that goes back to 2012 at least okay, we turned so out. this is a new finding. Well, that's kind of how we did with you when we denied service, yeah. what what I was doing, and yeah. I said I'd expose, now I'm going to say it, whenever I replayed like key fob A, key fob A no longer works, right. so that's how, that's how I give you a denial of service. Yeah. Now, once you play mm -hmm. any other authorized key fob, as long as you um, send, so key fob A got deauthorized. Yeah. I wait for you to use key fob B. As long as I play key fob A's code within 30 seconds of key fob B being hit, it reactivates at a zero count in the car's computer. That's the secret of what we were doing. Yeah. It's a time sequence to reset it. Yeah. So that's the point that I wanted to give them longer to see what they want to do with. That was kind of the, the extra part of the sauce that okay. we didn't give out last time. So tell me about uh, your talk and what you went into details there, because you do have some new information. We do. So the Car Hacking Village, as well as the Wireless Village, are both um, doing Capture the Flag events. Yes. And I'm working in the Wireless Village, and we're sharing the data with the Car Hacking Village. Which is great. We actually set up, one of my challenges is, I took two fobs. I give you two lock sequences, an unlock sequence, yes. and then two lock sequences for the other key fob. You have to tell me what which bits lock or unlock it, which ones identify each key fob, and yeah. then for the big point value, you have to tell me what code you would send next to unlock using key fob B right, right. by figuring out the sequence. And you did figure out that sequence. Yeah, so we found <laughs> out that there's some interesting things that happen with what looks to be the rolling code part of Forge protocol. Um, this is good. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. It's bad for Ford, but, but it's very fascinating. Yeah. So you can actually. Here's one of the big issues we had. We were using Man Manchester One yeah. up until about a week or so ago, right. thinking that we had everything good and everything looked looked right. But if I tried to flip bits, I was having trouble making that work. Right. Yeah. What I what I do now is I realized it looks like it's Manchester Two. I found that out from doing some TPMS because I set up okay. a TPMS challenge using Ford's. TPMS protocol for the uh, players as well. So you started digging into Manchester 2. And Manchester 2, all of a sudden, when you get past the point where it says, hey, this is lock or unlock, yeah. where the numbers start changing into the roll code, yeah. it just follows a straight count. It just counts down. It just like down. starts at one yeah. and then just goes just from Just builds, yeah. Oh, that's horrible. But it goes back, back, you know, it goes, you know, about seven, eight 
characters deep, but at least the first four we've been able to find where it absolutely patterns out. So maybe I just change the D to an E and leave everything else the same. So we're gonna work on that. We don't know for sure, but it looks like you may be able to actually give some expectations to be able to jump ahead in the count. Do you mind if we share uh, some of the codes that you shared with me? No, no, not at all. Um, so, so I think it's really interesting that you, you saw this sequential order and basically every single column is the same and then you have this very one specific one that changes. After that, you do have character sequences that do look completely randomized, but all you have to do is change that one column from like four to five to six or whatever it might be. We believe. I haven't 100% tested it, but by like I've done 25, 30 captures and it all climbs in sequence all the way, yeah. So that sounds pretty concerning to me. I think it's gonna be interesting to dig deeper and see can you manipulate to be able yeah. to change a lock to an unlock, a maybe catch just one key fob and not need both to be able to do the full raptor attack. Yeah, that's pretty scary. If that's the possibility, I mean, Possibly. gosh, yeah. that's a safety concern. Yes. I mean, it always has been, especially with the first ones that you showed us. I mean, yeah. just the fact you can unlock a car with one, that's pretty creepy. Yeah. So do you think that that's something that you're going to work on through the rest of the weekend at DEF CON here? Absolutely. Uh, working in the village is great, and it gives me time to really dig in and look at it, and yeah. also helping people look at it gives me new ideas of where I can go with it. And you're running this challenge too. Yes. Has anybody broken the challenge yet? Oh yeah, effort? we've had at least two teams that were able to go all the way through, figure out the DMOD, because it's using simple tools. Yeah. This isn't something that you need to buy a bunch of high expensive gear to just decrypt if you don't want to replay. Yeah. RTLSDR. Okay. That's it. I, I'm glad you brought this up because I was wondering what technology. Simple tools. Um, okay, so we got an RTLSDR, which I love. Yep. <laughs> um, the replay can be done with um, a yardstick. A yardstick. Or a hack okay. RF. All right. And I use Audacity in one aspect. Uh, then I used Inspectrum. Okay. And then I use uh, Universal Radio Hacker. So I did it through all three mediums just to oh. make sure that it'd be something people could do. Yeah. And then it's just figuring out and making it match. So is there anything else that you want our viewers to know about this hack that you've learned so far, any changes other than what we've already discussed? I think the big thing is if you have a Ford, yeah. um, again, I'm not taking anything away from Ford. I, I, I understand why they put the protocol in. I just think that it was a flawed protocol to de-off a remote. Yeah, absolutely. And then you have to reset it. Yeah. But know how to manually take the key out and know how to open your car. Yeah. Know what your um, door panel code is as well. Because If you do have a door panel code. Yep. Because one of the other aspects that we get into is you saw I can also plug into the OBD2 port, yeah. use force scan, and be able to pull the door code out of it so now I have indefinite access to the vehicle. That's horrible. So, because I, I catch your start sequence, I start it, I unlock it, get in, and there yeah. we go. But you can only, I mean, the good thing is, proximity-wise, you have to be pretty close. Like, I can't do it for more than maybe two, 250 yards. Oh, right, right, of course. Well, I think that we should go over to the Car Hacking Village and maybe check it out a little bit. I think that would be really fun. Absolutely. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Woody, where can they find out more information about you and what you're learning? Um, so, my Twitter handle is TB69RR, and the uh, Wireless Village, we have the competitions up there, so watch how people did. And I have a talk at five here at DEF CON in the Wireless Village, and that will be uh, recorded so people awesome. can watch it. And I'm going to, instead of just talking through things, I'm just going to take my key fobs, do a catch, and I'm going to do the whole thing start to finish, spend an hour doing the entire attack, oh. demodding it, doing the whole thing live in front of everyone. So, uh, yes. And I'm doing the whole thing on a coffee stick. Wait, what is this? This is, this is the computer I'm using. Really? For the yeah. entire hack? Yeah. What? You just plug this in, plug a keyboard and a mouse in, and whatever you need on a hub. Oh, that's amazing. So I can travel with everything I need right here. It, it looks like a Roku stick. Yep. <laughs> it just looks like a portable media player. Yeah. That's so amazing. You can put whatever you want on it. I've got pin two on this one. Can I play Tomb Raider uh, on that? Uh, <laughs> most kidding. likely. Probably not. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are really powerful. And the nice thing is they're small. Like yeah, everything's they are getting tiny. small and easy to do. Oh, that's um, so dope. You can thumb boot it. Wow. You can have an operating system on it and then thumb boot it. Yeah. Um, so you could run multiples. You know, carry a bunch of USBs that's, with you. And that's great for portability too. Given that you'd probably end up in a parking lot if you're trying to do this and yep. do penetration tests. I just have a little screen that I hook the HDMI up to. I yeah. run. I run this off the same battery pack that I run wow. my porta pack off of, and uh, 
Yeah. That's you set the whole thing up and you can do everything right there and visualize it. Man, Super easy so and fast. Velcro's your friend. Well, you know that he will be available in the comment section if you do have any questions about his car hacks. Uh, I really appreciate that you're doing this too for our safety so that we know exactly what the uh, vulnerabilities are out there. So thank you so much to, for giving me an update on what you're working on. I can't wait to see what you find out with those rolling codes. Very scary. Hopefully that's a thing that <laughs> I, I kind of hope it doesn't work. <laughs> so do I. So and I want to say it hasn't been I can't say that it 100% works, but I can tell you that I've been able to spot patterns. It's an interesting finding that you and found you, patterns. And you've seen me. I, I find weird patterns. Oh, yes, you do. So <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more. Thank you so much again for being on the no show. No problem. And, of course, for more from us here at DEF CON 27, hit up our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash HAK5. That's where you can find me and Darren doing all the things. Talk to you later. Trust your technologist. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com.